All right, hey, what's up, everybody? You guys ready to do this uh, weekly review? It is weekly review time. And I gotta open up my document here. Okay, so uh, so Monday, we looked for a load. We put out a video just looking for loads. I was hanging out in the sleeper. Um, kinda had a time crunch and kinda had, I, I was looking for something just local. I was keeping my eyes open, uh, keeping my eyes on the board Sunday. Uh, and also Monday morning, just looking to see if I could run something local. Nothing power only was really popping up. So I uh, I decided not to run anything that day. Uh, Tuesday morning came. I had a meeting Tuesday morning. So I went to the meeting. Um, I had placed a couple bids. Um, one of them was with Convoy. And uh, so <clears throat> you guys, if you saw that load, that was uh, the Convoy again uh, load. Um, and it was the third load of my entire authority and um, it went pretty well uh, got hung up at Safeway in Tracy but we built that into the rate when we um, when we bid it and we also got detention as well so we got that load um, and then uh, we did a load finally got a load from Southern California up to Northern California back home so that is the ideal that is the lane uh that's the lane that i ran for four months when i was doing drive-in uh like i think i had my license for like three months when i started doing drive-in with these guys and i ran ran that lane for four or five months um the only deviation i ever had from this exact lane it, and it's kind of like just an extension of the same lane but i ran out to vegas one time from right here like 20 minutes from my house ran out to vegas and then they had me deadhead back to la to get something to pick up so um basically the same lane a little different but anyway so that's been the the plan and the goal all along was to run that lane so we finally got a load this week i mean we've only done four loads all right but we finally got one coming up from uh southern california so uh the first load was the merced to tracy deliver at Safeway and then Tracy take the empty trailer down to Procter and Gamble in Oxnard, California. So, um, that load went well. It, it took a long time at, um, uh, the, um, Safeway in Tracy, but we got paid well for it. That one paid us, uh, 16, 1650. Oh shoot. And I don't have it here because I just have the tallied totals here. Anyway, it was like 1651. Let's just call it that. 1651, 1658, something like that. So just over 16, $1,650, all right? Right around there. So uh, that load, um, once we got down to Oxnard, we got down to Oxnard a little later Wednesday than I had hoped. So I wasn't able to get a load on the truck Wednesday afternoon, which was kind of the plan, which pushed me to getting a load Thursday morning. Now, the problem with that is what we're dealing with right now. It's Friday. I have like 10 hours left on my clock and I'm looking at the load board and there's not, not much going on right now. There's not a whole lot going on. Uh, I looked, there is a um, Amazon. I'd have to go back up to Stockton, take, take a load from there down to, uh, where was it? Was it Bakersfield? I think it was Bakersfield. And then I'd have to try and find something, I mean, late tonight to come back or just deadhead back. And Amazon doesn't let you bid. They just have like the book, the book it feature or whatever. Like you just book for whatever they're going for. And the longer you wait until um, the, the pickup time, the, the higher the money goes. But right now it's at $600. So $600 is about half of what I'd like to do that round trip in. So if I could find something on the way back, then I'd be down. But, um... Yeah, anyway, so all that to say, all of this happened because we weren't able to get a load on the um, on the, um, the truck on Wednesday afternoon, because then we could have been up here Thursday. We would have had a load uh, last night delivering this morning in LA, and then we'd be hustling to try and find a load Friday afternoon to come back up, and usually that's when the best rates are, so... We kind of shot ourselves in the foot a little bit. We only ended up with two loads again this week. Um, but like I said, Monday and Tuesday, I had to be here. So it kind of pushed me into a weird week, and I'm okay with that. This next week's when we're going to really hit it hard. Have I drawn it out long enough yet? 
So the second load was uh, the one that we just finished this morning. And that load went from Fontana, extra lease trailer, an empty trailer move from Fontana to Oakland uh, for um, $1,750. $1,750. So what does that bring our total to? Huh? What does that bring our total to? It brings it up to around 3,370. I like round numbers, is that weird? I round everything. I round everything, like everything. Um, I might be a little like OCD or something, I don't know. But everything gets rounded. I don't do exact numbers, I don't like them. Um, <clears throat> so uh, 3,370, we ran just under 1,200 miles. 1200 miles 3370 on the on the gross revenue uh, my insurance is 295 a week my truck payments 790 a week this week in fuel which I have half tank left so I didn't use all you know how that goes so I put more in than than I than what I used but nevertheless I'm gonna account it for this week so I put eight hundred and seventy five dollars of in fuel this week which leaves us with just over uh, fourteen hundred dollars so fourteen ten um, for our gross and, and I call that kind of our our gross profit or our working profit um, operating profit however you want to whatever you want to call it but there's obviously additional things that need to be taken care of before that is considered like a net because a true net is what you get to get, go take home and spend um, on your housing and your in your cars and your food and all of that. That's what a net is. And the fourteen ten is after certain expenses. But like, even though I don't have to pay my registration this week, and I don't have to pay for any maintenance this week, you need to set money aside. You have to set money aside every week, every check. Don't just wait for the good weeks to do it. You've got to set it up so that every single week, no matter what you're setting money aside because you know you're going to pay heavy road tax registration and you know you're going to have uh, repairs and maintenance tires that sort of thing so you got to have those funds already accumulating and accruing throughout the year so that there's a nice big little uh big little <laughs> there's a nice big uh pile of money to pay for those things because you know that they're going to happen it is it is automatic um and for uh, those of you, depending on your tax situation, you should be setting aside for that as well. Um, and uh, so um, that's going to vary for everybody. And I mean, everybody is going to vary. Um, some people are like, yeah, fraud's cool, whatever. And then other people are like maybe too honest. And they're like, well, that wasn't truly for the business. You know, it's like, bro, you bought, you know, boot laces for your boots. Yeah, but it came in a pack of two and I gave the other set to my son and so you know you're like uh just write him off man anyway so um you need to be setting money aside i do that to myself a lot rabbit trail my own dang self and i can't remember what i was talking about um so yeah so you know what we didn't do you know what i didn't do i didn't i didn't see what our um our our uh, rate per mile was quick what's 3370 divided by 1200 quick uh, you guys are you guys are way quicker than I am. You guys are way quicker than I am. Yeah, it's 280 a mile. So at 280 a mile, you know, if we were running a lot more miles, <laughs> it'd be a lot better. Um, you know, on a 2,500 mile week, which is kind of what my goal is, is to run 2,500 miles between 2,000 and 2,500. Um, I'd like to um, do that. And at 280 a mile, if I average 280 a mile on all my loads, on all my trips, um, basically I'll be, I'll be, you know, grossing, uh, $7,000. So, um, yeah, so I, I hope that that is the rate that I can continue to, to get, but I am missing out on a lot of bids that I'm putting in right now because I'm way high, um, compared to what convoy is moving them for apparently. Um, so they're telling me that I got outbid on all of the loads and, uh, um, you know, by a lot like by a lot a lot so i don't know if guys are out here running you know cheap freight but i mean i know that's happening so it probably is but then again these these uh brokerages and these these uh apps they're not exactly 100 percent truthful all the time either so 
I may have I may have lost my bid by like 50 and th next time they want me to drop my bid by 500 so they're just telling me I lost it by a thousand but really I only lost it by like 50 bucks who knows who knows and especially they tell you that you don't always they don't always take the lowest bid because they take all of the other factors included like how new you are and all of that kind of stuff so uh, it's all good um, this next week we're running though we already got a load for Sunday night and we are running Run in, Jenna. All right. Um, that's it for the weekly review. Love you guys. Peace.